Hi everyone. Yes, yeah, so once upon a time, I ran a film festival. It was called the Sutton Film Festival. And it ran from 2002 to 2006. With a little, little revival a couple of years later. And the reason we started doing that is my friend, me and my friend David Wells. In 2001, we finished um, my first proper movie. <laughs> call it a proper movie, uh, Dawn Razor. And I wanted to premiere it for the cast and crew. And the idea uh, developed from that. Basically saying, okay, well, we'll, we'll, we'll show how our film, but also how about opening up to other filmmakers so they can show their films as well. It was a short film festival. It was a showcase for films. It wasn't, there was no prizes at the end or who's the best film or anything like that. It was purely a film festival for short films and short filmmakers from new and are also established filmmakers. Um, so we did that. We hired the Charles Cryer Studio Theatre in Carshalton in Surrey, uh, South London, for that first um, event. And it went really well. I think it went really well. The following year, we thought we'd do it again. Again at the Charles Craft Studio Theatre. Um, a little bit of musical uh, entertainment from Mel Sanson. And we're there we premiered uh, Shelf Life, my comedy Shelf Life. Still probably my favourite film I've ever done. Very all improvised, great improvisers um, involved. So yeah, uh, we would show Shelf Life. I mean, I met so many great filmmakers at this time. Simon Ailing is one who I'm still friends with now. Um, sorry, Simon Aitken, sorry. Simon Ailing, I used to work with him. Simon Aitken uh, of Independent Runnings. I was in his film Blood and Roses uh, a few years later in 2007. So that was great success, you know. Um, no pressure to win an award or anything like that. It was just purely, yes, I am walking through a graveyard people I mean I'm in Mickleham where I've just shot a video um, so it sort of grew a little bit from then because in 2004 I was working at the UCI cinema in Sutton just before my current job which I've been it for, for 18 years and I hired a screen in one of the screening rooms there so we had the 2004 um, film festival it was at the UCI cinema perfect absolutely perfect and there we premiered I think it was reverse yeah reversing the polarity uh, memoirs of time and space which I'm going to re I'm remastering at the moment um, and that was great fun have it actually having in a proper cinema you know um, and we've got loads of people come down um, who was in it oh came along Mark Donovan my friend Mark you know hello Mark he's in America now uh, who was in uh, Shaun of the Dead um, and various other movies um, and we had some really good we had um, uh, a Doctor Who spin-off um, and Demos Rising which is like a sequel to the demons Doctor Who story of the demons and it's, it was so nice to see it on a big screen I was worried about the pixelization because you've got to remember back in 2004 you know we're only talking 480 maybe 720p Unlike today with 4 and 8K, but actually projected onto the screen looked absolutely fantastic. Really did look good. Um, I'll sit down here. It's lovely, lovely view. We can show you the view as I'm, as I'm talking. Yeah, lovely. And um, so, yeah, we did that in 2004. The 2005 um, film festival that um, moved to the Seacombe Theatre in Sutton which is no longer a theatre which is very sad and I've done loads of shows there mainly with the Car Shorten Pantomime Company and a few others um, and that was great <clears throat> and we had my friend Adrian hosting because I was too busy with all the other admin stuff and organising it all and he did a fantastic job he's a great professional actor I know Adrian uh, and he hosted that and that was the 2005. I can't remember what film we had in that. I think it was whatever happened to Mark Fielding. I can't remember. But I don't, or I might, we might not have had a film at all. I might have had to 
get an old one out. Um, but yeah, that was really good. Having it at the Seacombe Theatre was great. We, a lot of people have got a lot of affection for the Seacombe Theatre. Um, and from that, we came back next year, 2006, for the last Sutton Film Festival, short film festival, say the short film festival, we had the premiere of Return to Ravenswood there. And I remember stressing out, I don't like stress, I don't try not to use it in my life, but I was really stressing out because me and David Wells were having real problems encoding the video to show at the festival. There's a lot of pixelization issues. Um, but we managed it in the end. It wasn't the best screening. Um, we, we actually had a better screening at a film festival in London uh, six months later. But yeah, there we had the Return to Ravenswood premiere. We had all the cast come down. They all sort of posed their photos. It was a really good event. Really good event. And that was pretty much it. That was like our last film. Um, our last film festival. You know, uh, it was me who organised it and hosted it and, sorry, and founded it. But my friend David Wells as well, uh, I haven't seen for a few years now. Um, he was integral to the, to the success of it. Um, but when in 2013, I sort of revived it a little bit, but it wasn't the Sutton Film Festival, it was under another name. It was the New View, New View, NU, New View Film Festival. And we held that at uh, New Wimbledon Theatre Studio in Wimbledon. Um, and there we premiered Ravenswood, uh, the sequel to Return to Ravenswood, with the cast and crew and various other people uh, submitting their um, uh, their films. To think back then, it was only like 10 years ago, we were sort of like using CD-ROMs and, and DVDs to project it. Now we could just straight onto a hard drive, project from that. No glitches, nothing. Um, so yeah, 2013 we had the New View Film Festival, which is like a, I say, a, a PS to the Sutton Film Festival. But they were really good times, really good times. And I was, really, I was quite prolific in making short films. Ironically, I've made more vlogs than I've made films. You know, I'm on my 268th vlog, I don't, can't remember. Um, but it's interesting running a film festival. You meet lots of fellow-minded people. It's a great event, of course. It's a great event. And uh, inherent, uh, ensuring that the local community supports sort of local arts. Because I did get a grant on a couple of times from Sutton Arts Council, which is very handy. That helped pay for the hire of the, of the venue, especially at the Seacombe Theatre. Um, but yeah, that's my little story of the Sutton Film Festival, 2002 to 2006. And then the New View Film Festival, 2013. And before anyone comments, why don't you do it again? I've moved on. I've moved on from those days. Um, and I don't think my passion will be in it as much as it was back then. But yeah, there's my little story. I hope you've liked it. I am now um, contemplating. I will link all the video diaries down below in the description box um, about um, the film festival. Um, we've got 2005 diaries missing. I don't know why it's missing, but it's missing. I can't find it. I keep everything I've ever shot, ever. Um, but it seems to be missing, so I don't know where that is. But I'll link the 2002, 2003, 2004 and 2006 uh, film festival filmed by my, by my friend Greg Waite, who's a great filmmaker in his own right. So there, yeah, Sutton Film Festival history. There you go. And just as I come up this lovely old uh, rackety door, <laughs> which I've been filming at today, um, I'll bid you farewell. 